Hey YouTube, what's up Nate here? It's been a while, but I actually wanted to dig deep into this copy of Animal Crossing I got while in my Japan trip. I ended up finding a brand new copy. I was actually supposed to grade this copy for myself, but since I no longer need it because of this graded copy here, I wanted to actually open the box, kind of go through all the information on here, kind of just make like a really chill video for all of you. And um, I also thought it'd be a good way to return to the channel for a little bit, kind of do more of the fun stuff, more of the stuff I wanted to do that I never ended up doing. But I've missed making stuff for you all and kind of chatting. So um, I will I will mostly be looking at this, but at the end, I'll probably do a little bit of yapping about uh, this graded copy I have now. Um, so let me just let me just get this thing, this package, uh, like the shrink wrap off of it and then yeah we'll go into it yeah so f i hope you've all been well for the most part i am going to be using google translate because i actually don't speak japanese um i don't read it anywhere like competently either this packaging is really loud so i hope it doesn't like wreck your ears or i might just have to cut all this all right so here's the moment of truth we're going to really see the condition of this game because I've had it in the shrink wrap since I bought it over a year ago now. Here we go. Here's a moment of truth. I might have to just get like a box protector or something for it. So here we have it and it's like cardboard glory. I'll kind of go more in detail about that with the uh, uh, sealed version as we get there. You can kind of see like, you know, damage, especially like right here, right there. And yeah, so there's like condition notes here. I'm going to get my phone. Again, we'll be doing some Google Translate. Yeah, so mind you, I don't really like speak the language or anything. Okay, so someone might be able... I'm, I'm literally going to like... Like I have Google Translate here, so I'm just going to be doing that. Which, you know, sometimes context is more important. So you might be missing like some things. But this here says two rather than one it's better than both of us from yonin takusapu and then this says animal crossing <laughs> the translate here says alone or alone <laughs> i don't think that's what it's supposed to say let's look at the back of the box though it's so nice looking i love i love japanese games like the artwork and stuff so this says what this right here says what should i do today and this one says who should I write a letter? Like, probably write a letter for. So, we'll start from here. I'll kind of, like, be pointing my finger as I go. There are strange animals out there. A rather strong village where you live. Up to four players with many animals can make a living for save files. If you play with two people instead of one, or more than even two people, the fun will expand infinitely. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this blurb here says. And this says become with animals, but I think it probably means like, I, I'm pretty sure it should say like live with animals. So this is event, spring, summer, autumn, morning registration, and village time all flow in real time. Events are also prepared depending on the season and the time. And this one says letter. It actually picked up some of this on the screenshot. And that says, it's supposed to say happy birthday, but I have nothing else. Like it doesn't translate all of it, but I did get this portion saying happy birthday so that's cool so it says how can you communicate with other animals and other residents using letters and bulletin boards this didn't get translated but i would assume it maybe means like decorate i don't know and then it says let's decorate your room by yourself collect lots of items and create your own space and it says use the controller pack to go to your friend's village so i think you get the memory card with it and then a lot of this is just warnings about, you know, read the manual carefully, uh, use the product in the correct manner. If there's a defect, we'll replace it. Sorry for any inconvenience that may cause. Warning about never disassemble or modify it. Uh, the cartridge, you know, just stuff like that. Um, then of course, patent pending Nintendo. Pretty sweet. That says Nintendo company down here. Then we have on the side, we have Pete. 
put it this way. On this side, we have Pete looking. I miss him. I miss Pete a lot. Uh, blank side, nothing here. We have Rover, a character we don't really see that much anymore either. I miss them both dearly. And then up here, we have Tom Nook, the crook, and Porter, right? Porter is his name, I'm pretty sure, the monkey. Rover, yeah, Rover is the cat, Porter is the monkey. I like really don't want to take this off because I fear it's going to damage it. And here's a little like Easter egg for you real Animal Crossing heads. I believe that's Mr. KK's album cover, this song now. So this is actually like a deeply rooted reference. And then a parry card. I'm pretty sure this is like a uh, like a parcel, like mail. Like this is what it's supposed to look like. It's letter from the town. That's really cute. Um, memory card for the N64 controller, which is something you attach on the bottom, is included just for the game. Okay, so this is, <laughs> I don't mean to make this a huge deal, but maybe I should just make it a huge deal. Um, I've never opened this before, so I'm actually really excited to see the contents of this myself. Yeah, so look, to open it, this is going to make sense once I talk about the uh, graded copy I have. To open the box, you have to bend it like that, right? This is really exciting for me, though. This could be someone's copy that has, like, stuff written in it. Oh, wow, that's so cool. That's lovely. So nice. Oh, wow. It even, I didn't know it came with the, um, wow. I didn't know it came with the, it was going to come with the memory card pack. So you would pop this into the bottom of your controller and it would save it. This would be how you save save files on, uh, N64. Whoops. I didn't mean to drop that so loudly. Let's look at the cartridge. Oh, they like wiped it probably because of the name. So. There we have Porter, or Rover, Porter, Porter. I don't know why I'm confusing myself. We have Porter on the train. This is on something in Animal Crossing, I think. It's on a pattern or something. Go Nintendo 64 cassette. I'm not gonna translate this. <laughs> NUS 006. I don't know if this is the sixth game ever made for the N64, if that's what that means. Got our just for the people who aren't very familiar with like N64 stuff, maybe I figure the people who watch this are probably younger than me and didn't grow up with it. It's cool to look at too. You know, can't really, who's going to argue that? Put that there. This fell. Sorry, controller back. Is there more? Oh, it fell again. Smart. Okay. Um, Let me just pick that up. I'm just going to put that there. I'll pick up the, I'll pick up the memory card after. I'll just leave that there. Oh yeah, there it is. There's like the full artwork on the back. There's Jack, Copper, Pally. Wow, there's a lot. Okay. Is that, is that Tom Nook? I think that's Tom Nook. It looks like him with the apron. It might be red. Okay. So... I think this is just general warnings that you see on most like products like this. Let me just, just double check. Yeah, it's just like safety information before, you know, you get like, you know, just be careful with power. Don't shock yourself or anything. Preparation. Please don't hurt yourself, etc. I think it'd be better if I just like put it down and kind of just didn't have my hands all up in the camera. Okay, sorry, I have to take like good photos. Connection to controller connector. This game uses a controller connected connector, one on the front of the main unit. You cannot operate it even if you connect to any other connection. This game is for people. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Multiple players cannot be. Yeah, so this is they're basically saying like you can only use the first port of the N64. This is not a multiplayer game. If you try and connect it to ports two three and four like you're you're not gonna you're, no inputs are gonna work on it like you're you have to use the first port and then this says for this game we recommend holding the controller as shown in waka's illustration the light position with this grip you can freely operate the three you can move the 3d stick with your left thumb allowing you to comfortably play this game where like the focus is playing like this this is how you should hold the controller don't use the d-pad we never use the d-pad anyway and then this says let's try it too and it says blog what is animal crossing 
how to start the game, operations when entering characters, so like how to use the keyboard, operation in the field, the field is full of excitement, inventory screen options, let's change clothes, uh, that's blurred because this is like overlapping, let's send a letter, about the post office, about Tanuki shop, about other buildings, Haniwakon and save, which is uh, the gyroid and saving, let's help. Let's go to another village and how about playing like this? Nice. This is cool. Whoa. Okay. Let's translate this. So I think, yeah. So it says, this says prologue. So this is like the preamble for the game. And it says, hey, you finally decided to live alone. It's nice. There's no one telling you what to do and what to, hmm. Hito. There's one telling you what to do and what to do. And it's wonderful to live alone and freely, but it can be so lonely sometimes when you live alone. At these, it makes all the difference to be have a good friend by your side. Tomo all. Friends are important. Are you ready to get on the train and leave? See you then. Yeah, so it's like the uh the screen before when you start the game in on at least on the GameCube version, and it's KK sitting like under the spotlight. It's cool. Okay, we're gonna try and <laughs> I'm sorry if like what I'm saying doesn't make sense. I'm I'm trying to like paraphrase it in my head to make sense because some of this is like uh just translated wrong because of the way that Japanese works. So the top of here asks, what is Animal Crossing? And it says up here. Animal Crossing is a game where you can live in a fictional world that's different from the real world. You live in a village that exists only in the cassette, so like in the cartridge. You can talk to your neighbors, animals, help them, write letters, and do whatever you want. Also, just like in real life, time exists inside the cartridge. Time passes from morning to noon and to night. Also, there are, there are sunny and rainy days, and the colors of the trees and background change according to the seasons, even when you are not playing the game. Someone in the village may write you a letter, or they may move away before you know it. So it's kind of showing the difference between uh, winter with the snow. Let me just raise this up a little bit. So it's like showing you the difference between winter to spring with the change in the tree. Like, so they're showing the tree covered in snow and then the cherry blossoms and then the green. Then it says up to f up to four characters can live in one village. And then this bottom section here says, let's go out to a friend's village. The shape of the land and the animals that live in the village in your cartridge and the village in your animals in your vill in your friends oh my gosh and the village in your friends animal crossing cassette are likely to be quite different in fact each village in each cartridge is a different village save your data to the controller pack and go to visit your friend's village at friend's village you can be animals you've never met before and even get rare items there are also cases where residents of your village move to a friend's village and vice versa Let's go to many villages and experience various events. Write your name on the label of the cartridge. So then it's saying your village. Your like this is your info, and then you go to the village of your friends, and vice versa. Then this says you won't be able to. You won't be able to go out until you progress through the game to a certain extent, which I assume is the, um, like the prerequisite of like working for Tom Nook is probably what that is. I love this background the trees it's so cool it says please see please see page 20 for details on how to go out and then this bottom blurb down here it says animal crossing is a game where each player can freely act in a village inside a cassette there are many other things that will happen in addition to those described in this instruction manual so please find your own way to enjoy the game that's cool okay sorry it's like kind of springing up just because it's old the way that it's made i gotta put more light on this like that so this section up here is called how to start the game insert the cartridge into the n64 properly and turn on the power switch do not touch the 3d stick at this time the title screen will be displayed press the button to start the opening so then that's the title screen and then this says when you play for the first time while listening to the stories of the animals that appear Use the stick and buttons to select options and enter text. See page 7 for text input. This will determine the current time, your name and gender, and the name of your village. 
when you finally get off the train, you are free to take control. You can also set the sound by selecting before as the first option after the opening begins. And you'll see that here with, so this says title screen. And then this says opening, it's like the opening area, like the cutscene that plays in the train. Let's see. We'll hold it like that. So you guys can see it more. And then this other section right below down here. It says when you play the continuation. So like when you load a file, I think is what it's saying. After restarting, select yes for the first option. Then select the character you want. And if you select hold it here, you can add characters that Freya can control. Up to four people can live in each village. You have you can have four files. Also, if you select before that as the first option, you can change various settings. Pre-order. I, I assume this is like settings. Select stereo or mono according to the cable and TV you're using. Look, it's Penny. That mouse is like my favorite villager and she never returned from the first game. I'm very sad about that. So this is just saying like you, like all the settings, you can erase data uh, of the character. You can erase the village, everything, like all the village, the residents, return it to like basically like factory restore. And then this one is to change the time. And then we have, here we have, this is instructions on how to type. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like it's just showing you how to use the, the hiragana to like change hiragana, katakana, which is like two different types of way that Japanese is written out. So I'm going to turn the page. <laughs> Seems a bit redundant, I think, to, to talk about that. I want to like skip through all of it already, but isn't that a little counterintuitive? I just want to look at all the pictures and all the cool concept art. Okay, here we go. Let's take a picture. So this says operation in the field. So probably like how to move around. So the, the controller stick, the stick says to walk. The walking speed will change depending on the storm that knocks down the 3D stick when walking slowly, just tilt the 3D stick a little. Z and, and run. If you press the Z button to move the stick all the way, you can run. So then this is explaining, um, you can talk to residents, open the front door, look at the board, take some action on things near you. If you press this button, when you have an item in your possession, you can use it. So for that, it would be face the person you want and press a to talk, press a to open the door, press a to dig. Press A to read signs, shake the trees. If you stand still and do nothing, the time will be displayed. So it's showing you there that the time will be displayed. Okay, that's cool. And then this one says B to pick up items up here. View the map with R. You can see the overall map of the village you're currently in by moving the cursor and the 3D stick. Villages have addresses. You can see from the map that villagers have addresses as you walk through the field the screen may change indicating you're in a different area so i, I think it's i think it's this is referring to the acre system in the original animal crossing sorry i'm like trying to figure out how to, how to show this nicely in the original animal crossing didn't happen once wild world would come out these uh these squares like represented different acres and so they're saying like you'll know when you hit a different acre because the screen will like shift over pretty much oh wow the field is full of excitement that's what this says the field is full of excitement as you walk through the field you will discover many things every day you might meet a new animal see a strange mark on the ground or something floating in the sky here are some examples the ground is shining maybe something is inside should i bury something after digging so there's like the golden spot where if you dig that up you have a thousand bells and you can plant bells in there i think up to i think is it thirty thousand? i think if you, you can plant thirty thousand, you might grow a tree that bears three of whatever amount you put in there then there's balloons in the sky there's a present at the bottom how do i take it so here this is before animal crossing had the slingshot so you'd have to follow this balloon and see where the present would land and then shake that tree to get the present out and this one says someone is falling 
I found an animal lying on the beach. I need to wake it up quickly. And it's Gulliver. He, you know, shows you all the items from the world. That's neat. Oh, what is this? Take that out. Okay. I hope this is better for you to kind of see it. I feel like it was too far before. Maybe. So this is about the inventory screen. So this is operating the inventory screen. When you move the inventory screen, you can carry up to 15 items. The sub menu. Oh, wow. This is like really explaining like everything. Almost to a fault. <laughs> Basically saying like, uh, so like with this, like paper comes in fours. So you can decide if you want to split it up. You know, there's furniture, clothes, paper, carpet. There's mail with like stuff in it or unopened. This is like, it just seems redundant to explain all of this. This is at least, this is maybe makes more sense as being the first game in the series and like video games are kind of like have to be explained like that. It's so funny. I think I am just going to put it down because yeah, sorry. So this says, who should I change clothes with? You can also change clothes from the, you are wearing on the inventory screen. If you want, if you want to wear that, or if the mochi mono items open the front and grab it. I like to try it because I'm in the top left corner of raw stick. Huh? <laughs> Press the button, open the item, grab it. Okay. Okay. It's just saying like, uh, you, you get the item. I'll pick it up for this, for the pictures. It says you grab the item, move it over, and then I'll change into the clothes. This says some ingredients. Oh, like tools. So it's also explaining tools about like, um, using the shovel, the fishing rod and then, and the bugs, like the bug net. And just like explaining like how to use the inventory system for money. It's so cool. Okay. Let's see. So this says operation at home. So I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, doing stuff at home. The essential operations are the same as the field. Like when you're in the village. But there are some actions that are only performed in your home. When placing furniture in your own home, you can place furniture that you can get in the game. Press the button to call up the inventory screen. Select the furniture you want to place and press the button. Then a menu will appear. Please select keep it in your room and you can decorate with that furniture. However, there are times when there is not enough space in the house to place furniture. So you can clean up furniture by pressing the front of the furniture. It might be a good idea to organize your room. Some of the furniture can be used for... What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that says. When you change the camera angle, use the... Oh, the C stick. So you can use like the C buttons. Not the C stick, that's GameCube. You can use the C buttons to change the angle that you can view the camera. When moving furniture, you can also rotate it by tilting the 3D stick while pressing the Sushant button, which I assume is the action button. However, this cannot be done if, unless there is free space in the direction you want to move. So like illustrating the character grabbing a guitar and like trying to move it around. And this this is like the Famicom, so like our Nintendo Entertainment System. It's kind of hard to see, but that's the Famicom, like the Nintendo games. You used to be able to just play them like that. So it says, let's play with Famicom. When you get a Famicom, there will be a message in your room that says after displaying it, if you press the button in front of it, you can play the game. Press the button. And furniture that produces sounds such as a radio cassette player can also play music by setting a separate music button. So that's like KK songs. I think this is more about like sending letters. Yeah, it says send a letter, choose it, decide a name, write a letter, put in a present. You can also rewrite if you mess up and then take it to the post office. And then it says like, you know, you just take it to the post office and the animal you sent it to might even write you back. It's uh, because of the light, I'm getting like this big, like reflection on it. So some of it's like not coming out correctly. So it says about the post offices. With the post office, you can send and organize letters and pay for your home. Go to the counter and talk to them. Select an item from the menu that appears. So you can say, I want to send a letter, which, you know, we covered before. You can, I think this is to pay off your loan. Yeah, it looks like this is. It says that like I want to transfer it, select yes, and do all that with the banking. 
you can save letters you can save up to 160 of them and just explaining how to move them over we have pally we have pete oh here we go it's tom nook it's like out of focus on my end hold on sorry the tanuki shop at tanuki on on tanuki chisan shop you can do many things other than shopping if you have something to do other than standing please talk to mr tanukichi how to shop if you want to buy something go in front of the item and press the a button tachi-san will inform will tell you the item's description and price for paper he will actually show you the pattern on it when you buy it if you don't buy it please choose no there's an cranny there's asking the character asking about the item there's tom nook himself what is the turnip price today if you would like to know the price of the cuff you have price of terms goes up and down every day so when you want to sell check first check the price so this is talking about the stock market that happens in the game that's a whole other rabbit hole about animal crossing to be honest um i have something i want to sell you can earn money by selling items you own please note that sold items cannot be returned show me the catalog you can see a list of certain items you have and obtained. Please choose what you want from the list and place your order. Select the icon on the right to change the type of item, which is this here. This makes you want to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> and this says shop assortment. The selection of products at Tanukichi shop changes depending on the day. Even if you don't have the item you want that day, you might find something nice in stock if you go the next day. This is encouraging you to keep playing. Okay, so we have... Oh, this is some stuff that's like not really... Yeah, these are features that aren't in the future games, I believe. It's kind of crazy. Okay. So this says about other buildings. These are buildings and facilities that all gods must have. I'm pretty sure that's not what that says. Police box. I keep lost. This is this is copper, by the way. A lot of people don't know him anymore because he's not in New Horizons. I keep the items lost in the village or found in the village. The maximum number of lost items that a person can save is 20. If more items accumulate, the oldest items will be deleted first. You can also get info such as event schedules from police officers, which is him. He stands in the front and you have Booker. In the villages you go to, when you go to the village listed in the other cassette, go to the police box there and you'll receive a map that only can be used while you're in the village. When you go out, we recommend you first go to the police. Oh, so that's saying like when you visit somebody else's uh, town, go to the police area because they'll give you a map and you won't just be roaming around with nothing being lost nice so this is oki okay yashiro oki yashiro so this is like the well the wishing well in our in our version I believe this is something they have in shrines when you ask. This is more of like a customs like thing in Japan. Not customs like um like religious or like superstitious about uh when you go to shrines out there and you ask the spirits like you know it's hard to explain, but in, in it's the same thing for us in the US as the wishing wells. So like if you left an item with a villager on an errand and you never got it back and you can't give it to them you can like ask for for forgiveness to be like oh i you know messed this up and i wanted to come here to admit that you'll get that uh like you'll you'll it'll be okay like you won't have like karma against you i believe it's so you don't ruin their friendship like that's how they explain it in the u.s version you can also, it says you can also listen to like things about the village environment. So this is how you get a perfect town to get, I believe, a golden axe, which never breaks. Is that you have to see, you know, pull weeds, make sure there's a good amount of flowers and trees in every acre. It's like a very specific number. I used to know it off the top of my head. If you know where you are moving to, if you know the location of the owner of the item, such as the village of your friend's game, you can give it the item to him by going to that village. I don't know what that means. Oh, and then there's a dump. There's a garbage dump. It's like a little empty acre with like this like barbed wire around it. You just walk into. I don't think that's in uh, the newer games. It says this is a place where you can collect items, furniture, etc. that 
You no longer need. We'll come to pick it up at a certain time on a certain day of the week. So please put your items there by then. So that's if you want to get rid of stuff. But you can also find like free stationery there to send to your villagers. Which I always did. Even though it's only like 50 bells for, for paper. I, I'm just I'm just being economical, you know. I'm just thinking of the planet, to be honest. And being I'm kind of being cheap, right? <laughs> okay. This is more info on the bulletin board. Anyone can post and it's located near the house, your main house. You can only write up to 15 items. If you write more than 15, the oldest one will be deleted. And once you once you actually put something on here, it can't be deleted. And then so this is just basic controls on the bulletin board. This is about the town tune, which they call the melody bulletin board here, which is what it translates to at least. You can change the melody used when you return to the game and press the 64 button, huh? Oh, that's cool. It gives you melodies. So look, they actually have like suggestions on like, like this. How about the melody? So like, we'll play them. Like if you, you can test them. I want to know what these are now. I'm going to have to look into that and see if there's a option to see what they are. Hey, look, the seasons are changing. Look, 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 look at the, look at the, the look at the borders. How cool is that? And now we're here in winter. That's a nice little touch. Nice. Okay. About Haniwakon and save. So this is about the gyroid. When you finish the game, please, please be sure to talk to Rujuan Haniwakon in front of your car. <laughs> please record the save content of the game. Haniwakon has various functions other than that. So you can change the message. So when other people who visit your town go to your gyroid, you can make it so that there's a message there besides the default, like, hello, welcome to the village, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can change it. And so that's just to explain that you can change his message of what he says. Oh yeah. I forgot about this. You can actually set it so that there's like a little, um, like he has, like, you can give him, I think like five items and you can do it so that they're like sold. So like, let's say I'm like, oh dude, I have like. I don't know, um, a gold stereo, um, I, I don't know, a gold stereo, a gyroid I found and a T-Rex fossil. You can like make a little market here where people can go up to your gyroid and talk to him and you can set a price and they can just buy it. But usually that's not what we did, right? Anyone who plays this know you would just go to the village and just like drop the item and leave, <laughs> but you can do that too with, uh, with that so that it's free oh i'm dumb this says that you can give it for free like the things on the stand attach a betting stamp it with a stick and sell it to other players i don't know what that means and this is just to show it off so i'm pretty sure it's like free for sale and can't buy i'm just here to flex i want to <laughs> this says i want to bum <laughs> or burn I don't think that's what it's supposed to say. Records all actions performed by the player on that day. After closing, you will be returned to the title screen. Continue playing the game after recording the tap and poke. Okay, so that's like saying like, this is like, if the option to save is that you will record everything you did for the day and jump you back to the title screen. If you want to keep playing, you just go back into it. This game is designed so that various events occurred depending on the season time and special circumstances. Therefore, rather than playing for long periods at once, we recommend playing a little by little to enjoy the daily changes. That's that's for all the time travelers out there. <laughs> it says relax. About the post, there's also a mailbox in front of the house where all, lever, all letters addressed to me are delivered. The mark will blink to let you know that a letter's arrived. So you'll get the little ding ding, ding dong. Oh, that's in my head. That's like stuck in my head permanently. This light is really messing with my photos. Can I like block it? <laughs> Can't block the light. Let's help. That's what this says up here. It says, let's help those in need. There aren't things that aren't there seem to be happening all the time. I don't know what that means. <sighs> okay, I got to rescan this. I don't know what happened. Like completely just like didn't know what to do. For, ask for help. First, talk to residents and ask if they're having any trouble. On the right side, Mr. Feather, which I think is Felix, is asking, asking 
Mr. Feather is asking, I would like to, I would like you to lend me the hand you lent to Mr. Nicobon. Katie requests and said, let's go see Mr. Nicobon. When I went to the, oh, so this is explaining the process of, um, like asking, doing favors. So when I went to Nicopon, which is Bob, I believe. Yeah, Bob. When I went to Nicopon, I found him in front of my house. When I asked him about his notebook, he immediately gave it back to me. Let's go back to Mr. Cootie now, which is the bird, I guess. Your help is complete and your reward. If you talk to Mr. Feather and select it's a gift, the inventory screen will automatically open. You can give, you can hand over the item just mentioned. Mr. Feather gave me some clothes as a thank you for my help. There are many other ways to help out. This says other requests. In addition to help delivering items, they will ask you to do a variety of other things, such as wanting to plant flowers around your house or eating certain fruit. Yeah, so like, that's how, that's what like motivates you to um, visit other people is like, by default, you have one fruit and then everybody else gets randomly generated fruit. So some of them will be like, oh, I'm so hungry. I could really go for an orange. And you're like, bro, all I have is peaches. So it kind of encourages you to do that and exchange fruit. Oh, well, I just spoiled this, I think. <laughs> so this is actually about going to another village. It's Porter. It's like POV facing you. <laughs> so this says, let's talk to the station staff. When you go out, go to the station and talk to the station staff. If your controller bag has free space for one day, you can record data and go out. It's like talking to Porter, making sure everything's good. Oh, this is just about like making space in your uh, memory card or whatever. I think kind of redundant. And this is to go to another village. It's just before you go out and play with play with a cartridge set up a controller with the data recorded on it then when you turn on the power you can automatically play with the character you took out oh i see so in this thing in this controller or the controller pack like the memory card you're actually putting your character data into there to i think um play with their copy of animal crossing to put your character into there i don't know I don't know if you put your friends like so like you're playing your copy but then you put your friends controller pack into your controller to visit the save data from that onto your game i think i'm not sure that i can't make sense of it so anyway <laughs> i don't know so it says what's <laughs> We're going, we're moving on from that. I can't spend too long thinking about that. So this says, what's different about other villages? Different residents. Since the pair itself is different, the animals that live there are also different. Greet everyone and make, make friends. Look for dialogue. Items are different. You may be able to get items you didn't know about at Tanukichi's shop or the player's house. The fruit is different. See, I, this is my spoiler. I spoiled this. You may be able to find fruit you've never seen before. Is there anyone in your village who wants it? So that's what I was saying before about like asking for favors. Finish your outing. If you go out and need to check your box, please come back to the station and talk to Rover. What? To the controller back. Be sure to arrive between them when you leave. You're not able to go. What does that mean? I don't know what this means. It says like you're not able to go and be safe. My own village go back to one's village if you enter the controller pack containing the data of the character you went out with and turn on the power you will automatically be able to play that character otherwise you will not be able to return to the village n64 controller pack suggested retail price 10,000 or 1,000 yen include excluding tax you cannot go out to a, ca a cassette that no one is playing the character who bought the house in that village must be saved must have saved at least once as Hanewakan. okay that's the thing. You can't just go to a blank village. It doesn't exist. I won't know what to do. <gasps> oh my God. Someone wrote here, I think. Okay. I'm excited to see this. I want to turn the page, but I won't. So this seems to be like suggestions. Oh, this is cute. It says, how about playing like this? This game offers a variety of mecha mechanisms that allow multiple players to interact in a variety of ways. Let's use them to find ways to enjoy playing even more. Here we will introduce some examples of how to play. So family bulletin board, four players can live in one village at the same time. So for example, if you are a family of four, 
including a father, mother, and brother, each family member can live as a different character. How about this? You might be able to send a letter to your father who is home late, express something that is difficult to say, or communicate in a slightly different way than usual. Oh, <sighs> I'm like reading the notes. Okay, so this one says 420 2001. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah, right. Different New Year. Happy New Year. Let's make gyoza. I would really appreciate it if everyone would help me from mom. Write down things to write down things I do, even if it's hard to say with words. To Baba. To like Papa, I think. Daddy, I'm sorry for being selfish before. I gave all abalone the diamond wipes that daddy wanted. Sorry, dad. From Kima Mako. So that's like saying <laughs> that's funny. Like to, to say sorry to your dad through Animal Crossing. <laughs> I like that. You know, just like trying to be innovative in that way, in like a different way. Okay, so this one says treasure hunt competition. How about this is this seems really cute and like really fun. How about planning an event where you hide cool items somewhere in your village and have other players look for them? The layers are given hints about the players are given hints about the hiding place via letters and bulletin boards. And they're asked to search throughout the village. Depending on your ideas, such as leaving items behind the house where they can't be seen or sending out letters with more detailed hints, you might be able to lead amazing adventures. Fill the items with the shovel, give everyone a hint. I want to read what this says. So let me just kind of like zoom in. Sorry, I had to like take another photo. Tips for you. For you. The Taota that Aishi dropped was off the Tata in the evening sun from Tanuki. Ta is an ant. Huh? fishing rod so this is like a fishing rod that's what they put all right and then i think this is the notes like note section what the f hold up that said animal crossing new horizons <laughs> what but now it's just animal crossing event memo when you come across an event while playing the game make a note of it here february 20th no i think that's april 20th what is this Oh, that's not. Oh, it's a. It's like a example. Let's see what it says. Four twenty. What's the big deal about Toki Goharu? To Toki Haru's big day. Huh. That's cool. So this down here is a warning about changing temperatures. That if it's like when it's cold and then hot, you'll receive a message that like something's wrong or the battery's dead. I thought somebody wrote this. This is like an example of what to put in here. What's this? Font works. Oh, it's a guidebook. Animal Crossing Nintendo official guidebook. Life in the village will become more fun. There are still so many secrets that we don't know. Yeah, and then just information here. It's so cool. I think this is just like, be careful and don't burn yourself with power. I believe this is the Nintendo magazine, Nintendo Dream. And this is info on the pack, I believe. The controller pack. Yeah. Bonus. Grab. There's a music. Whoa. So this is like saying that this pack has like this uh memory card thing has a KK song and two Famicom games. What? That's cool. So there's like, there's extras in there. Interesting. Wow. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was like really fun. I'm sorry I like skipped some of it because I just felt it was like redundant to, you know, explain certain things that are like obvious, I guess. Obvious the right word for that. Let me just, let's just clean this up a little bit. And then I'll go over my, my graded copy and kind of talk to, talk a little bit more in detail about what's significant about it okay so let's give me one second we'll get readjusted really quick okay so here's my wada you know and opinions on wada aside you know i know there's like controversy with that um this is graded from wada and it's marked as sealed see that here came out in 2001 japan i got a 9.6 this item is something i've always wanted to own since i was younger um so i'm really happy to have this now 
Uh, I mean, you can like really compare the condition of them. I bought this on, I bought this in February of this year or March. I'm sorry. When I went back and I like kind of felt bad cause I was like, oh, I already own it, but um, it was marked as new. So it's like not sealed, even though this says sealed. But the thing about N64 games is that they say it here. Like it's something to know on un, un, unopened manufacturer without seal. So if someone ever tries to sell you a sealed, a sealed copy of an N64 game from Japan, just know that that's, that's not real. That's not anything. Uh, N64 games weren't sealed. Japanese, I'm sorry. Japanese N64 games weren't sealed. Uh, Japanese Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games weren't sealed either. So just be careful if you try and buy something like this. The only way to really tell that this is like considered like never opened is like I said earlier, this has like the markings. So see it here, like the cardboard, like this bent. This is bent and like scuffed a certain way that you can tell it was bent back before. It's kind of like once you undo that seal of the cardboard, it's it's done like this. Like you'll get to see all the fraying and the little bits of damage. And um, so I, I really couldn't pass it up when I saw it in Japan. So I didn't. I bought it. I'm smart. I make good decisions. But I'm really glad to own this. This is again personal holy grail it makes me very happy to see it japan japanese version animal forest made in japan not not sealed so there's no like grade for that they usually do like a plus but to have a 9.6 in a game from 2001 it's like a 23 year old game is like really awesome to me um yeah so you know kind of just has a little bit of info here boxes and 9.6 no seal Released exclusively in Japan, directed by Katsuya Iguchi and Hisashi Nogami. Yeah, Nogami. Produced by Takashi Tezuka. Music composed by Kazumi Totaka and Toru Minigishi. And yeah, so I just wanted an excuse to flex this. And I figured since I had this, we would do like, you know, if you wanted to stick around and see this cool stuff. That I own this and like a little bit about myself. I thought I would include it here. But that's pretty much going to do it. This was a lot of fun. I've been recording for over an hour. Um, video will probably not be that long because I did take some pauses. But that's all I really have for this. I would like to do more stuff like this because it's really cool to like look at pieces like this that are so old. I uh, really appreciate it if you've stuck it around this long. I do want to record more stuff as like things excite me. So yeah, hopefully you stick around for that. You can find me online at on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at what's up, Nate. I do have a discord, which I'll link in the description. If you want to do be a part of that, I'm trying to just again, just do more stuff. That's more fun for me. And uh, yeah, that's all I have. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.